Just come in. Um, Saken, uh, this is where you will stay with your sister for now. Um, that idea of a completed building is totally unacceptable by the church. That is why we've come to this room. Uh, you stay here, relax, feel free. I will make arrangements with the parish cook on how to bring food for you anytime you need food. And one more thing, please do not hesitate to tell me anytime you need anything. Alright? Hey, hey. now you are welcome. And <laughs> um, please, you have to excuse us for a while. Eh? This meeting is meant for the church council. Please, if you don't mind, please. Father Jude, I'm sure you know why I'm here. I want to believe you have given my message to the church council. Please come and settle me. I don't have time. Saikena, so I, uh, I don't understand what you are talking about. You don't understand what I am talking about. Here, in Asusa Osa. Eh? Am I speaking Hausa language? My own money, Father Jude. My own money. Now listen and listen good. Nobody, I repeat, nobody should get me upset. Because if you do, you will not like the other side of me. Ikeda, what is it? You don't talk to our father in that manner. You don't, you don't have to. Hey, please, excuse us, please. Tell him to give me my money. Saikena, if I may ask, what money? Which money? <laughs> um, Saikena had a problem. He came the other time asking for the money he gave for the church project. Faraju told him the money has gone into the project. But he refused. Saying we are lying. But we must give him back his money. What? It is not Saikena! Is that why you came here and talked to the father in that manner without respect? Are you listening at all? Where in this world have you heard that a man was giving back what he gave to God? That money has gone into the church project. Mm. So please, excuse us. Mua. Mua. Ikenna. Who has contributed to the growth of this church as much as I have? And so? Huh? Now listen to me. I have a problem. A serious predicament. Business is bad for me. And I need the money I give to you people to reinvest in my business. And if I don't get that money, if I don't get that money, Father, if I don't get that money, you will not like me. Again, is it? Yes, I can. We understand what we are going through. But this is not the way you should go about it. Mm -hmm. If you need money, just calm down. That is a big lie. That is a big lie. This meeting will not hold if I don't get my money. Saiken, hmm. with all due respect, excuse us. Of course. Yes, excuse us. You are a big thief. Hey! Hey! You are a big thief! And if I do not excuse you, what would you do? You called me a thief? You are a bastard! Fadaju, where are you going? You, you think this is a joke? Are you blocking me out? You think this is a joke?
A lot of things beyond my control. A lot of things I cannot foretell. But I want to start by saying I'm sorry. I... I didn't know what came over me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I repeat, tell me anytime you need anything. Do you understand me? I also want you to know that this situation will last but for a while. In no distant time, you're going to stand back on your feet. The Lord is your strength. Okay? Weeping endure it for the night. But joy will definitely come in the morning. May the peace and the love of God remain with you now and forever. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Just relax. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Mary. I'm one of the girls who helped get a job last year. Um, but I don't remember you. That's okay. My pleasure to meet you. How are you? Same here, sir. Um, I heard of a problem you had some time ago. It's a pity. That's okay. I, I'm fine now. It's all in the past. Okay. Thank you. Um, can I be of help to you in any way? No, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Please don't turn down my offer. It is my only way of saying thank you for what you have done for me. Please. Alright, I really do appreciate it. Right. Okay. Um, can I have a number? Um, I misplaced my phone. Okay. No problem. We'll see tomorrow at the evening service. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so you can like, let me ask, what's your prayer life like? Hot or cold? Mother. I wouldn't say it is hot or cold. It is somewhere in between, somewhere in the middle. Uh -huh. Do you like your tea lukewarm? I don't like it. Exactly. Nobody likes a steam or water lukewarm. It's either it's hot or it's cold. Um. But mother. I've been meaning to ask you. Why do you feel the need to examine my life? Let's say because I've been where you are today. So I understand perfectly what you're going through. But you see, um, many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the good Lord always delivers them. It is written that um, you can say to the mountain, be moved and be cast into the sea. Believing that it shall be done, then it will come to pass. Let me even ask, how often do you pray for your business? Very little. Well, that's the point. You see, the fact that I am a reverend sister does not mean that I never had my ups and downs. I was just like you until I learned to study my Bible. And the good Lord showed me that it's not for me to do the lifting. All I need to do is to pray. And things started happening. 
So what you need to do now is to pray, trust, and stand on the word of the Lord. And the good Lord will take care of any situation you find in your life. Mother, I must thank you for your kind words and encouragement. I must say, I love your faith and your closeness to God. Sir Ikenna, if you give me one hour of your time every day, I will teach you how to pray. I will teach you how to fight and with the right weapon. You see, I see in you a prayer warrior that needs to be awakened. Ikena, how are you? I'm fine. God has been faithful. See, I've been looking for you, but your phone has been switched off. Mecca, I don't have a phone anymore, and I'm fine without a phone. Ikena. I don't want to believe that what I have is true. What did you hear? One man is in your That you're not leading a church. And no matter what is wrong in living in the house of God. Are you living in the house of God as one? As a reverend father? Or reverend sister? Or a seminary? One man again you can what was wrong? On me. As what? Emeka. I am not in the mood for this discussion. So leave me alone. I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh no, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. Because I look at you like a madman. And then have Unya like in Busikita. You know, you live in a parish. You know, I saw a reverend father, a reverend sister. One more below the Kita, you will not suffer. That's a shame. You know, what is your new friend? I mean, it's a slap to a person. We are your friends. He said, no. Come and join the League of Billionaires. You decided to be a poor man. A poor man. And you're comfortable with it. I mean, you've lost all you've got. What name was the Aka? Are you not ashamed? Rise up. Can I ask you a question? I'm not here. What will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? One man spare me that fallacy. Emeka, you call the word of God fallacy? Yes. <laughs> Emeka, I know you. Emeka, I know everything about you. I am also aware. You are trying to initiate me into a secret cult. People who kill and do all sorts of human sacrifice for money. I know. I want to tell you something. And I will be very happy if you listen and listen attentively. Listen. That's one of the it's division of labor. Is it? It does not end in making money, but to train money. And as we guys, the police, what they go. I want you to understand that poverty 
like the white man said, is an epidemic. Obiam is different. But at the moment, we do good care. We don't know if we are going to be in the Stinks, stinks. So, what I expect of you to do right now is to come, to the bush here, and beg you to become a man. And then there's this common saying that says, Give unto Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. That which is for us, we do not be carrying on. So, you should understand that I was so born again, and the night of Saint Mark Parish, you were. So, I'm going to each other come Go There is something I know that you don't know. So one day to do. And come. Emeka. I'll advise you give your life to Christ. <laughs> Tomorrow might be too late for you. Our conversation is over. Anyway, since you've chosen this part, let's see how it goes. Can you send for me? Yes, I can. I heard you now do many jobs, but that has got to stop. Yes. I've decided to offer you a job, a more comfortable and stress-free one. Father, offer me a job. Saikina, you are now my assistant secretary. Father, me. You don't know how happy I am to hear this. Thank you so much. You are starting tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. Father. Father, oh, thank you. May God bless you. May God bless you, Father. Thank you. You can go now. Jesus, I trust in you. Father. In the time of sorrow. I trust in you. I still want to apologize for the past. When I look at you sometimes, I feel so ashamed of myself. It was the devil. And I didn't mean to do all of those things. I'm sorry. So I can, from the very depths of my heart, I have forgiven you. Old things are past. Rejoice with me, sister. Father Jude just offered me a job as a secretary in this church. Brother, yes. seriously? Yes. Hey! Lord, only you can do this great and mighty work. I can't thank him enough. Hey! He said, he said I can start whenever I want. Brother, yes. I'm happy for you. Hey, brother, congratulations. <sighs> Ikena, Ikena, Ikena. Hello, friend.
सही के ना सही के Where are you going to My friends are calling me Who My friends They're calling me Your friends are calling you by this time of the night They're calling me Sai ke na Sai ke na of darkness. I rebuke you! things of the Lord are for thee that fear the Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this revelation. I stand against the preoccupation against our kingdom. You said in your word that whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven and you have given us power labor shakamu to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means for us. Therefore, I decree and the unsurmountable name that is the good in the name of Jesus Christ that every works of the enemy against I cannot be broken into pieces this minute in the name of Jesus Christ and chain all the enemies. Every evil power coming from the pit of hell against us. Lambra Basha Kamu Libra Galababa. Ye kama zanda ya kalabo ye kezebele baba libra karabo mazundele banaya Jesus I trust in you O merciful Jesus O merciful Jesus O merciful redeemer I'm fine uh, you came for the morning mass Yes Oh that's good do you do this every time before you go to work? Of course. Where is my weapon? Oh, amazing. Oh, keep it up, okay? Thank you. Actually, I got something for you. For me? Yes. Okay. And this... I know it's late, so, but... I just have to manage this. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. 
You're welcome. I need to run down. Okay. Okay. Okay, now this dream made me to understand that there are evil hands, evil hands that are behind the problem you had in business. And those people, those evil people, are the people that are very close to you. But I'm already praying, I'm already in prayers that the Lord shall release you from the captivity of the enemy. Amen. And I tell you something, you shall come out triumphantly. Amen. But you need to pray for yourself. You need to pray for yourself. Father, thank you very much. I'll do everything in my power to seek the face of God. Please do. You are an overcomer. Amen. The peace and the love of God be with you. Thank you very much, Father. Thank you. God bless you. Thank <laughs> you. 
On a bona, on a de bon moyen de gagner. And what is wrong in preaching the gospel? <laughs> we play music in foreign land with real cash. One day, when I water my ideology. I'll keep doing the work of he that sent me. <laughs> so you are not ashamed to be seen around with this this thing in the same vicinity where you're known as a wealthy man. You are now seen as a dirty poor preacher. Are you this senseless and garbage? What are you preaching? <laughs> he that is ashamed of me before men, I'll be ashamed of him before my Father in heaven, says the Lord of Lords. One day, okay, the Bible is this. You do all the Bible. Okay, the Bible. It means you are queer, you are queer. You now talk jungle. I don't blame you because this is what poverty costs, man. It, it, it can... You're my bosom friend. I must tell you the truth. You are taking this, your born again thing, too far! Go, go, man. Oh, yes! Too much. And you're beginning to understand this from a different perspective. It's wrong. Chaitanya, including you? Oh, my God. Oh, how are the mighty fallen? <laughs> yes, we made the decision, but I decided not to conclude from afar. I joined the club and I saw it wasn't what we were told that it was. All right, my friends here helped me out of poverty. Can't you see? Kick it away. Let you get a feeling. Let you get a feeling. Let you get a feeling. Listen to me. You're my friend. I don't like to see you like this. Come out of your poverty state. Let's show you light. Let's show you some light so you can, you know. But you know when I'm easy. Chatanda. Are you sure? You know what you have gotten yourself into? into oh, God, my God. Don't get me wrong. Thank you for looking out for me. But you have to be very careful. And listen, I don't want your help. My spirit does not welcome collecting anything from you people. My help comes from the Lord. And I'll advise you to give your lives to Christ before it is too late. God does not take pleasure in the death of any sinner. Give your life to Christ. Be very careful before you begin to impregnate reverend sisters. Listen. Get out of my sight right now. You stink me. Glory be to God in the heart. I heard you went to win souls for the Lord. Yes, Mother. That is very good. And please note that anyone that works in the Lord's vineyard must be rewarded. Amen. Um, there's been something that has been bothering me. Before you started having your business uh, problems, you had a lot of friends rich friends in this parish, like uh, Cheta, your business partner and best friend. How come none of them is ready to help you? I mean, especially, I mean, look what you're going through. No, nobody's been of help. Um, Mother, I am sorry to ask this question. How did you find out about this? 
well a, a couple of them were here earlier in the day and um, I spoke to them on your behalf and they were like they've been offering their help and you, you've turned them down you've refused to accept any help from them um, mother the truth is I have not been led in my spirit to accept anything from them How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, good. Um, what is going on? What do you mean? Well, I'm talking about your marriage. Mother, that marriage is a close chapter. As a matter of fact, it's a part of my life I hate to remember so much. <laughs> Ifoma, we are talking about marriage vows here. Vows taking in the presence of the Lord at the altar. Not some... Mother, if you don't have any reasonable words to talk to me about this morning, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I have to leave. I don't know how to marriage. And when is it time? I see. Uh, why, Alo? Forgive my interference. But what about your baby? It's a pity. I lost it. It's a pity you lost it. I'm so sure that Ifoma never had any miscarriage. She aborted that pregnancy just to go about her normal life. Mary, I'm aware Ifoma aborted my child. But what I can't understand is Ifoma has changed. She has suddenly become heartless to me. Bad influence. Brother, bad influence. I hate the woman she stays with. Is a very terrible person. Something is wrong. Hello. Hello, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. I'm in the church right now. Yes. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll see you soon. Okay. All right. Brother, who was that?
Mary. Hello, sir. You sounded worried on the phone. Everybody is well. My sister is very sick. My father is not around. I've gotten some money from him to take her to the hospital. When did it start? It started last night. Okay, um, so what will happen, eh? You just try and bring her down. Let me hurry and get a text so that we can take her to the hospital. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Yeah. Thank you for everything. I I don't know the right words to use. I mean, I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you for everything you've been doing for me. You didn't only take my sister to the hospital. You took care of the bills. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it, okay? It's all right, sir. What a friend. And um, Mary, don't call me sir. My name is Ikenna. Please call me Ikenna, all right? Okay. Okay now, there is something I want you to do for me. Um, okay, let's hear it. What's that? Tomorrow is my birthday and I want you to be the first person to call me. Oh, that's fine. That's doable. I can do that. that that's fine. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much. Alright, let, let me walk you. Alright. through so much in my life. I have overlooked so many betrayal. But the fact that my wife left me and began to sleep with my friend, Mizzy, all because of money, that I can't overlook. Saikena, I understand perfectly how you feel. But I would like to ask you a question. Do you think God still loves your wife and your friend? Mother, he is God. I'm sure he still does. Do you love your wife? Mother, I have so much love in my heart for her. But that is buried under the frustration she has caused me. Then she needs grace. No! Mother, she doesn't deserve grace. Do you deserve grace? You see, the Bible makes us to understand that we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But God, in His infinite mercies, decided that He would forgive all of us. So, He sent His only begotten Son so that he would die on the cross and we will have forgiveness and salvation of our souls. We need to learn to forgive. Because the Bible says, he cannot forgive you if you do not forgive those that have offended you. Mother, it's just too difficult to do. That is where grace comes in. 
God's grace would make you forgive people. No matter how bad they have hurt you, God's grace will give you that grace that you need to forgive. Listen, you cannot have you and God, the Holy Spirit, in your soul. You need to diminish so that God will take over. And when he does, he will take away everything bad in your life. When you learn to forgive you, you're set free. You're free to laugh, you're free to do anything with so much happiness. It is time to let God take over. And then, you would be able to fight your real enemy. Mother, did I hear you say enemy? Yes. That enemy that is locking around the corner, hiding deeply, Satan. He is out there to ravage you, to destroy your happiness, your marriage, your business, everything good about you. The devil is ready to destroy you. But if you allow God into your soul, he gives you the grace, he gives you the peace, he gives you the love to continue fighting. He takes over your life. And in that way, you are able to find Satan in prayers. It is time to become a prayer warrior. Because you need it. There is no magic in the location of prayer. The Bible says, you can go to your room and pray in secret. And your heavenly father, who sees what you do in secret, will reward you openly. Now, get rid of any distractions and focus your heart on God. <laughs> Acknowledge that He is God and that you desperately need Him. Be grateful for your blessings. Then lift up your burdens to Him. Beg Him to teach you how to be a better husband. If there's something bothering you, confess and ask for His forgiveness. Then choose to believe and trust in Him. For He can and will always take care of you. Then pray for yourself your wife and your family and any other person that the Lord brings your way. Don't rush it. Take your time. Feed my cross, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Also draw out the spear and stop those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those be put to shame and brought to dishonor who seek after my life. Let those be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my hurt. Let them be like chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord pursue them. For without cause, they have hidden their net for me in a pit, which they have dug without cause for my life. Let destruction come upon him unexpectedly, and let his net that he has hidden catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like you, delivering the poor from him who is too strong for him. Yes, the poor and the needy for, for him who plunders him. Fierce witnesses rise up. They ask me things that I do not know. They reward me evil for good, to the sorrow of my soul. But as for me, Sis, 
sit and listen to me. You can't take away my family. You can't take away my wife. You can't take away my business. And still want to take away my life. I command you. Wherever you have been manipulating my life, I command you to release me now. My life is under a new management. My life is under a new management. I have no business with you. I have no commitment with you. I have no agreement with you. So I command you in the name of Jesus Christ. Release me now in Jesus. Release my family in Jesus. Release my business in Jesus. I cried out to you, O Lord, and to the Lord I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it declare your truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy on me, Lord, my helper. You have turned for me my money into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. To the end that my glory may sing praises to you and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks to you forever. <laughs> Agent of darkness, I rebuke you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, this dream again. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God, for you have given us victory. Thank you, ancient of days, for we are victorious. For if the Son of Man shall set us free, we are free indeed. No weapon formed against the children of God shall prosper. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us victory. In the name of the Father, the Son. Greetings, the great keeper of the temple of Sakusa. You're welcome. I saw the cow you brought for sacrifice. Oh, yes. <clears throat> great one, I'm grateful. Uh, if that one is not big enough, I can provide a bigger one. <laughs> that sacrifice is rejected. Why? The spirit of Zakuza needs the blood of a virgin girl. never knew is one of the criteria to be out of the club. Nobody told me I was going to keep. How? You were told. You were told that you will be offering a living thing every six months to the spirit of Zakuza. Oh yes! A cow! Is human being not a living thing? Have two weeks to offer the sacrifice. Hey, uh, mother, you know the last time you suggested that we do something really fast about uh, a criminal situation. So I thought about it and I, I went to the bishop. 
as regards to what he's asking for. So after much deliberation, the bishop ordered that half of the money should be recovered back to him. So I quickly related to the parish council and uh, I told him to make half of his money available so that he can start on the Father, thank you so much. You, you don't even know what you've done. That money will be of great help to the young man. Yes, yes. Uh, Mother Mary, thank you for interceding for your children. Mm. I can't wait to tell you the good news. I can't do it. This is not part of the arrangement now. Yeah? If I had known, I wouldn't have in involved myself initially. <laughs> so listen and listen good. Go and do what you're asked to do. Living thing is living thing. Nothing less than that. Emeka, understood. Have you gone crazy or something? What? You mean I should kill my fellow human being? Wait, wait. Have you killed before? So I would have asked you to shut up because you talk like a child. But then, now listen to me and listen really good. Do you know how many people have killed? <laughs> the last one I killed was my younger sister. I could not continue. Don't let me shout. I don't want to shout. Yeah, Miss Yen, talk now. Yes, I mean, that is right. Have you? Eh? I have killed as well. <laughs> Look, the difference between you and I is that I've never been asked to kill anyone related to me. But the truth is, the moment that I'm asked, <laughs> I will never hesitate because I love my life. As a matter of fact, Cheta, I'm asked to kill you. Twice. Okay. I can go and do what you have to do. Wait. So, you people are this wicked. This is unbelievable. And you could sit in the church shouting the name of our Lord? And you can be oh, Cheta, shut up. Heaven will never forgive. Shut up and stop acting like a child, Cheta. Look, you better do what you're asked to do. Zakuza has given you everything you've ever asked for. Money. Faith. Protection. This is your time to reciprocate that favor. Cheta. If you love your life, you must do it. You have just till next month to do that. Once I didn't want you. Hey! Cheta. You should have listened to Iken. Cheta. Ikena is right. How did I get... I am finished. Hi! Cheta. Sir? Listen to me. Gamont. Hmm? We know the test. I don't care anymore. Now listen, go and do what you're asked to do. Makan Piawazo. Wahioiso. Come on, get out of here. 
Yes, yes, I can uh, hear it's Mr. Kenneth. He's my very good friend and uh, an old schoolmate. Yes, he's a businessman and he deals uh, on textile, uh, but uh, he stays overseas. So he needs someone, I mean a trusted person that can handle the new company he opened in the country. So I recommended you. Oh, thank you, Father. Uh, Mr. Kenneth, this is Sir Ikenna. He's a trusted friend and also a son in the Lord. So please meet him. Uh, my pleasure to meet you, sir. My pleasure. Yes. Do you have any business with you? Yes, I do, sir. You do? Then we can do business. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. It's well. It's well. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I give you all the praise. I give you all the worship. May your name be exalted. Mary. Thank you, Father. May your name be glorified. May your name be exalted. Thank you, Father. Mary. Is there anything too hard for God to do? Absolutely not, sir. Mary, the God of impossibilities just answered my prayers. Father Jude introduced me to a man who owns a very big textile company. He said he was looking for capable hands to handle the business. Guess what? He offered me a job. Mary, he didn't just offer me a job. He gave me a house. My sister, he didn't just give me a house. He gave me an official car. Mary! Hey! 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 Cold. Hey! Thank you. Thank you. Hey! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Nare kelemo izuroke ekele duranu mae jine kenke niwe. I love the former so much. I mean, I could do anything for her, and just because God was trying to test my faith by letting my business crash. If Oma turned her back on me, she left me. I cried. And since then, it's been very difficult for me to fall in love. I'm sorry about what you have been through and I promise to make you happy in my own little way. Thank you. And I must commend you. I was, I was surprised when you got the gift and when you told me that, oh, that I was, uh, you were one of the people I Oh, yes. Yes, I will send my boys to to see what. Okay. I salute you, great messenger of Sakusa. The wind is gone. I have just a wind to bring the required amount of sacrificial virgin. The great spirit is not a patient one, so don't keep him waiting.
Can you give me another sacrifice? I will provide it, no matter how big it is. So I put your hand back in my bosom. And you promise to return it. The Spirit gave you everything you asked for. You must provide what is demanding. Or else we face his wrath. This option is unnegotiable. Unnegotiable! But against our role for a member to be against his brother is your heart to provide the sacrifice. So, what do you care for? Nothing. You sure? Yeah. You don't want anything? Food? Anything. Drinks? Oh, okay. That's fine. Merit, I um, I invited you just to say thank you for everything you have done. I mean, you came into my life when all hope seemed lost. When everyone turned their back on me. Um, I uh, I just want to say thank you. I. Sometimes I I look at you and I remember a lot of things I have been through. The people I loved and cared about betrayed me. But each time you show me care, each time you show me love and affection, I just feel like I I owe you the world. I, I'm about to do something now. I, I am not doing it because you helped me or you were there for me. I'm actually doing it because you deserve it. We 
will you marry me? I promise to be a good man. I promise to love you. I promise to protect you. I promise to treat you like a woman should be treated. Blessing you for me. May God bless everything that concerns you. He's bless driving in like a man.
All is not well at all. All is not well. Please, I have a confession to make before I confession? die. Confession? Before you die, who's killing you? Confession. confession. I had a part with the devil before. What? The devil? What, what devil? Missy and the America are responsible for all the problems we had in our business. What? what? Whatever. What are you talking about? What did you say? What? Ah! What? of the Lord in the land of the living. Whatever altar, wherever it is where they presented your name, an evil altar, wherever it is that they presented your name, I destroy with the mighty name of Jesus. I render them powerless and I give you life in Jesus' name. Who was responsible for the downfall of my business? Make and Benzia. I, I, you didn't tell me. They are cultic people. How? They keep people to make their money. Yes. And you didn't tell me. They destroyed our business due to jealousy. Yes. And because we did not join that club. You see that club? It's not an ordinary friends club. It's devil's temple. They are cultic. They, they, they asked me to sacrifice human but. I did not do it. I believe that's why they wanted to kill me. Please, mother, pray for me. I don't want to die. You will not die. You shall live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Mm -hmm. You will not die. Amen. Accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, and you shall live to testify His goodness in the land of the living. Amen. Mm -hmm. now. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Praise Sakusa! Praise Sakusa! of the sacred order. He has opened his mouth at death and must bear it with his blood. No one, no one dares the spirit of Zakuza and lives to tell the story. Both of you have seven days to offer his heart to the spirit of Zakuza or else you bear with yours. As the spirit pleases. Hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, I have a few bottles of wine. So, we all know why we're gathered here today to give thanks to God. God has been merciful. It has been a lonely road we have traveled. God has been good to me. I don't know about you people, but God has been good to me. So before we proceed with the opening of the wine, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father King of God, we thank you for everything you have done. We thank you for your provision. We thank you for loving us. We thank you for everything. God, thank you. Father, I'm sorry, please. I was misled by my friend. Please, please. <laughs> if only you disappointed me. 
I least expected this from you. You abandoned your husband when he needed you most? The worst of it all is that you started hanging out with his friends. Infidelity. And now you're pregnant. You don't even know who's responsible for this pregnancy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do all that, please. I loved my husband so much. I was misled. Please have mercy, please, Sarah, please. Please help me. Help me because I'm back with my husband, please. I beg you. Please, Sarah, please. Please help me, please. Help me. Hello? Father Jude. Good day. I'm fine. No, I'm in the house. I'm at home. Okay. Alright, I'll be with you shortly. Is this why you called me here? Second, so please sit. Please, just sit. <sighs> Second, so a man asked Jesus, How many times? Will someone offend you in a day and you won't forgive? And Jesus answered and said, Seventy times seven. And that is to say that as long as we live, forgiveness is what we owe one another. In our daily prayers, we pray, Forgive us, O Lord, our sins as we forgive those that sin against us. To err is human, but to forgive is divine. Your wife has realized her mistakes, and she has come begging. Please, I beg you in the name of the Lord Almighty that we serve, forgive her. Please. Father Jude, I am sorry to disappoint you. What you're asking me to do is completely impossible. It is completely unacceptable. And for your information, if this thing here is the reason you called me, consider this meeting over. I cannot. I really understand how you feel. Yes, I understand. But don't let this your anger make you forget that you are a Christian. <laughs> Father. You see, I am trying not to sound disrespectful. I'm trying not to sound rude in any way. <laughs> I, I'm sure we both know what I'm talking about. I was told she lost the pregnancy. I was told she lost the baby. 
So why is her tummy protruding like someone who just ate 46 plates of pounded yam? came back and Father Jude is begging you to accept her? <laughs> For what? If someone left me, she left me when I needed her the most. When I found myself in a very critical situation. Mary Foma also aborted my child. My child. She killed my child. And as if that wasn't enough, she started sleeping with my friends. And now, she has the F on tree to come back to me begging for my forgiveness because she knows God has blessed me again. <laughs> I respect Father Jude, but brother, I will not advise you to consent to what he's saying. <laughs> I mean, that woman is a bloody witch. A gold digger and as such, brother, she should not be let back into this family. Mary, let me ask you a question. I know all women are not the same. But why do women behave this way? <laughs> brother, Sophia, is that the way you see me behave? <laughs> Mary, do you know she's pregnant? has been in Chita's house for the past three days. Yet it's nowhere to be found. Cheta Lacha Pugoso. Oh, It's good. Kimika, this is serious. This is very, very serious. Look, our lives are at stake here. We must find him. We must find Cheta. Cheta. Cannot run. No matter how hard he tries to hide, I will fish him out. Trust me. Oh, merciful Jesus. Oh, merciful Father. Oh, merciful Redeemer. Father, I trust in you. Oh, merciful Jesus. The Lamb of Glory, 
Father, I trust in you in the time of trial. I just came to tell you that Jesus, this is not going to work, Father. Ikela is a guy that I've loved with all my heart. Ikela is a guy I've helped. Father, it can't be possible. I've always been by his side. I've helped Ikena a lot. Eventually, I fell in love with Ikena. Father, I'm engaged. How do you expect me to leave a man that I love, a man that I've engaged you with? You agreed you knew he has a wife. <laughs> yes, I know that he has a wife. But she ran away a long time ago, Father. Um, what are you telling me? <laughs> listen to me. Once married is married. Okay? I want you to know that a good man that would love you and cherish you will come your way. Just leave it, Kenna. Okay? I am not going to leave him for anything. Kenna is mine. Kenna is mine. I'm not going to leave Kenna for anybody, Father. And there is nothing we can do about this. And don't forget that what God has joined together. Let no one put us on that. But I am not ready to leave Ikena for whatsoever. Ikena is mine. I'm not going to leave Ikena for anything. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Put yourself in my shoes, Father. What do you want me to do? I have nothing to do with nothing I can about this. Fuck <laughs> it, so you see, sometimes I believe God allows us to go through certain situations because He wants to test our faith. He said in His Word, if we have faith as small, as little as a mustard seed, we can speak to the mountain to move and it will move. So I know it's, it's been, it's been tough, but look at the transformation, I'm even surprised. You know, when Father looked at me and said, I'm giving you a, a, let you into my house. Please. How did you find this place? Father Jude gave me the address. Father Jude gave you my address and you boldly walked into my compound with another man's child. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Please, I'm sorry. Now listen to me. I'll walk into the house. By the time I come back, I don't want to see you again. Don't try me. Please, please, I'm sorry. Baby, please, don't do this. Please, 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 I have changed it. Oh I have been pleased. Please, please, I've changed. I've changed. Please, please, I've changed. Please, 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 please,
have three days left. The spirit of Zakusa will take your lives if you fail to provide Jatan. Go and look for him. No, great, great one. We have searched everywhere for him. We couldn't find him. You brought him. I should be held responsible for the damages he does here. So says the spirit of Zakusa. Say, King, now. To err is human. To forgive, divine. You need to forgive. Mola, it is not as easy as you think. I know. And that's why you need God's grace. Now tell me with all sincerity. Don't you still love your wife? I mean, is there no iota of love in your heart for her? Mother, I have moved on. If Oma should do the same. Mother, I I love the former. She's my wife. What I felt for Ifoma, I have never felt for another. But I'm sorry, things have changed. How do you mean things have changed? Can you explain? Mother, I am engaged to another woman. Come to think of it, she's even pregnant for another woman. Holy Moses. So fast. Yes. Now, who is this other one? Her name is Mary. She's a member of the church. Mary? Are you serious? He engaged another woman in such a hurry? It's surprising, Father. Really surprising, though it's not his fault. He did nothing wrong. Um, I think, Mother, we have to do everything possible to ensure that we bring him back to his wedded wife again. Um, Father, I don't think there's a possibility. It's possible, it's God. Um, though it's going to be tough, considering the fact that she's pregnant, but never mind. We need God's intervention in this world. I think so too. I want to thank you for all the good things you did to Saiken and when the going was not really smooth. Um, but uh, there is an issue on ground and that is why I deemed it pertinent to discuss with you. Okay. I believe as a good Christian that if I talk to you that you will understand. You are awake and now has a wife. Sure. But she left a long time ago. And yeah, she left. And now she's back. So, what does that have to do with me? If Oma wants to come back to her husband, she has confessed and she's ready to turn a new leaf. I know this is very difficult for you to do, considering the fact that you're already engaged. But oh, please, I beg you in the name of the Lord Almighty, leave Ikenna for his wife. Father, what are you saying? Despite whatever happens, if Oma remains Ikenna's lovefully wedded wife that we all know, please, it is difficult, like I said. 
But I want you to consider if you were in this shoe, how would you feel? Father, are you in any way insinuating that I should leave the man that's engaged me? This discussion is over. He can have a wife. And that's final. Listen, I am confused right now. I don't know what to do. I'm like, look, see, I can no longer sleep. I can no longer rest. I am confused. Well, Maisie, honestly, I'm as confused as you are. Yes. Well, I'm like, I have to do something. Please, you have failed. Please. You failed to do as instructed. Please. Come for your soul. What? No, 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 Maisie, I won't die. I, I, I won't die. No, I, I can't die. It's not possible. Azu do bama duana. Yes. You can not. You can not. You can not. Please help me. You can not. Please help me. Please. You can not. Huh? Please. Which one? Huh? You can not buy two good dollars. What is it? I am. I am almost. I've met my doom. Please. Someone is after me. You can't have it! No, that's it! That's it! You can't run away from your shadow. You fail to do as you were directed. Your time is up. Oh. Stay out of this or I kill you. You can't kill me because I have no business with you. Besides, he that is in me is greater than he that is in you. Okay. Now take it! Go! Jesus! Oh merciful Jesus! I am sorry. I have a pact with the devil. Honestly, I appreciate the works. I didn't expect you to walk this much. I enjoyed it so much. You know, listen, let me tell you. There's a saying that when a woman knows how to handle the husband. It looks like she uses charm. Why you malo be dear or the cool job? Nah. Honestly, hold on. Let me show some appreciation. This is four hundred dollars. Wow. Change four hundred dollars. Change it. Just for a few moments. This is huge, thank you very much. One they don't mention. This little thing is what we give to people for thanks for coming. The other one. Hi. You know what you're gonna do for me right now? Turn around and face the gate. Call me whenever you want to of see me. Of course I'll do that. Right? Hi. Right. You can go. Thank you. One name will you are. the formula. <laughs> I miss it. Praise Sakusa! Praise Sakusa! Sacrifices.
Let's Zakuza accept the offering of your subjects. So God can forgive all the sins I've committed. It was greed that led me into this. Please. Oh Lord, forgive me my sins. Just go on your knees. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Oh Lord our God. I was surprised when your father Jude told me that. Merit, that's why I called you. I have grown to like you. You're very caring. You have a beautiful heart. And sometimes, I wish I could pay back everything you have done for me. But I have to tell you the truth. Please forgive me. I have decided to take my wife back. She is my wife. We are married before God. I'll be failing my duties as a Christian if I don't forgive her. I won't have peace of mind. Please, you have to understand. I, I, I believe you're going to find a good man who's going to be there for you. Who's going to provide for you? Who's going to protect you? I am not that man. Please. I'm sorry. Though it's very difficult for me to admit the fact that I'm letting go of you. But I believe in the word of God that says what God has joined together, no man should put asunder. Though it's very difficult for me, and I hope that God will bless me with my own man someday. Father, mother, it is not easy for me, not at all. But as well, Ikena, you 
can go on with your life. A good Lord will send you your life. Merit, I am. Um, I must commend you. You are an example of what a caring woman should be. Thank you so much for everything you have done for me. And I pray you find someone who would love you just the way you wanted to love me. And as for you, Ifoma, God will surely bless you with you. Thank you.